Hello, good day and welcome to today's class. Today, we shall be looking at gradients, gradient of a straight line and gradient of a curve. This is brought to you courtesy of edufes.ng. My name is Kabiru Abdul Kadu. Now, we have to look at the gradient of a straight line first, so it will give us an insight of what to expect when we enter gradient of a curve. So gradient between two points. Now the gradient of a line is the slope of the line. Now the gradient is the ratio of the rise to the run. Now we use letter M to represent gradient. That is M is equals to rise over run. So anytime you have two points, you are going to have x1, y1, x2, y2. Now you draw a right angle triangle, then use the rise over run to find your gradient. As we can see from this diagram. So we have a typical example here. We have point A, point B, point C, point D. Supposing we want to calculate the gradient now, it means we are going to take two consecutive points. Here I have taken point B and point C. So, and I have drawn my right angle triangle here. So I have my x1, y1, x2, y2. On my y axis, I can locate my y1, y2. On my x axis, I can locate my x1, x2. Remember that everything starts from O, which is the origin. So you have to meet x1 before you meet x2, and you meet y1 before you meet y2. So in this very good example here, we have change in y over change in x. That's y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. My y2 happens to be 15 here, minus my y1 happens to be 10. So I'll just say 15 minus 10. And then the same thing with the denominator, my x2 happens to be 6, and then my y1 is 4. So I'm going to have 5 over 2, which is 2.5. Take note of the following. 1. The gradient of a straight line at any two points are always equal. So what we are saying is that if you take point A and B, or you take point C and D, or you take point D and E, by the time you calculate the gradient, you are going to have the same value. Now, number two, in general, the gradient of a line between two points, A, let's say point A and point B, is going to be x1, y1, and x2, y2, which is written as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the coordinates of the two points forming the line. So calculate. Let's look at the methods for calculating gradient. We have divide the change in height by the change in horizontal distance. That is what we have explained earlier. So we have gradient. We have change in y over change in x. You can see from this small graph here. And then we'll look at a very typical example. Let's say find the gradient of the line described by the given point. Point P, we have x1 there and y1. Point Q, we have x2 and y2. So at the end of the day, we put the formula and then we substitute to get 7 over 2. Now, the major work now is now the gradient of a curve. Now, a tangent to a curve is a straight line which is drawn to touch the curve at a particular point. Therefore, the gradient of a curve at a given point is the gradient of a tangent at that point. Look carefully and observe the figure below. We have figure A, figure B, figure C. They can all be differentiated by their colors. Black is figure A, blue is figure B, and C is figure green. So we have a tangent in figure A. Now green is now the tangent that is touching the curve. So having drawn that, it is now located in x1, y1. So the intersection between the two is where you are going to draw your tangent to touch the curve. So we now have our change in y over change in x. Let's look at diagram B. We have a tangent which is red in color. It is now drawn to touch the curve at a certain point. So in that case, we can now draw a right angle triangle where we have our change in y over change in x. So we'll now move ahead to figure C. In figure C, we have a straight line which is green. It is now drawn to touch the curve at P. So having done that, you are going to draw a right angle triangle. That is what we have done. So we'll have our change in Y over change in X. This is pretty simple. So we'll look at a typical example. They say draw the graph of Y is equal to X squared minus X for values of X from minus 2 
2 plus 3. Find the gradient of the curve at point 1 and 0. That's point x is 1 and y is 0. So the first thing you are supposed to do is to always draw your table. This is not the complete table. We have drawn how to uh, actually do table in in quadratic equation, quadratic graph. So you can go back and make reference to it, learn your graph very well because if you don't know how to plot your graph, then you cannot solve this gradient. So having done that, we have extracted our values of x and values of, of our y. So now it is now time for us to draw our graph. Now we, I have done my quadratic graph here and then now I have to go and locate my when my x is 1 and when my y is 0. We have it there at, at point P. So there I'm going to draw my tangent to touch P. So having done that, I have to draw my right angle triangle there. I have my x1, y1 and x2, y2. So based on the formula of finding gradient, I have my y2 to be 2 and y1 to be 0, y2 to be x2 to be 3 and x1 to be 1. So when you substitute, you are going to have 2 over 2, which will give us 1 as the gradient. So thank you very much for listening, but you have to try with a very short assignment here. It says, find the gradient of the curve at the point shown in front of it. So we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. Thank you, and then God bless. Stay safe.